Yeah, hi guys, welcome back to Marathon CrossFit and today it's about the bench press and it's paused bench presses in the deload cycle of Jim Wendler 531. Now also this is more of a session where I want to explain progress and uh, compared to what I've done about one and a half years ago. So one and a half years ago, which would be uh, mid of 2014, I started lifting on a strong lifts 5x5 program with an empty bar. And now I worked myself up to Jim Wendler 531 deload week and packing up 95 kilograms for five paused repetitions. And um, so the past bench presses I brought in um, about, I think, a quarter ago um, because I was actually doing touch and go and um, I th read and I saw that post post bench presses are actually more beneficial to your strength development and also to developing your chest. So I implemented them for now. At first I found them quite challenging and um, also just figuring out how long to pause, getting a new rhythm in for bench pressing. That took a while and now I'm in a good spot, I think, um, and uh, it also takes a bit away of my uh, top set in Jim Wendler. So beforehand, I did touch and go reps th through the entire session. Um, when I did bench pressing, now I do pause reps except the M rep uh, in the beginning. And that makes me, of course, oh sorry, correction here, 91 kilograms. So um, that makes me uh, makes me a bit more drawn out when I'm actually coming to the top spot. But all in all, this is how progress looks. 91 kilograms for pause. I could have never done that one and a half years ago. So come back for more and thanks for subscribing. Bye bye.